way to understand the jal yeah. uh, would be far easier because one that you know he's going to claim to be a prophet okay so what can you do as a prophet oh i'm a, such a super prophet i can travel through here and there yeah. so okay so zulkarnain could do that man he was not a prophet yeah. Yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah this is this is yeah. a way of surah kaf is actually helping you get that psychology <clears> in place <throat> and ironically the siddiq nabis are the uh you know those prophets which allah taala has shown his big signs to Okay. You know what I'm saying? So big signs in, in this case of Maharaj Allah Taala says I've traveled, yeah. make him through a journey to make uh, him uh, see those big signs. Why Surah Maryam is so important? Siddiq are those people will be saved from the jal because they will be believing in a totally different way of looking at uh, all this stuff and it will be meaningless of what the jal is doing. Sahil, uh, as you mentioned the hadith where Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that these are a couple. Uh, of three surahs a triad a triad of three surahs uh, bani israil which is surah uh, al isra wal miraj al kahf and then surah maryam is also included in this so we uh, as you explained we understand that about the time travel the significance of time travel through isra wal miraj so what significance does surah maryam have for us to understand al kahf uh, there's a very clear uh, very clear uh actually you know the the, the place where allah taala is uh, talking about how idris alay salam is lifted mm-hmm. up in the heavens okay. uh which is such a significant uh entry into the whole realm of all of these concepts uh and the hadith of miraj as well okay uh, uh prophet sal met her idris in the fourth heaven yeah Uh, that's the only account of her Idris, where we get to find out that this is something which is. Okay, so Hazrat Idris went alive. Yeah, he did. Okay, so uh, we don't just have Isa alayhi salam being yeah. taken alive into the skies. No, 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 not at all. Uh, well, the Christians okay. believe that there are three. Mm-hmm. Muslims believe that there are three. Uh, Christians believe that there are four, actually. Uh, Muslim believe that there are three prophets who actually, you know. travel the the skies the heavens uh, adam alayhi salam who went came, came to down. earth yeah yeah, yeah. okay then uh, idris alayhi salam that you know went up okay so and um uh, then uh, prophet alayhi salam who went up and then you know in his very life came down and isa is going to come back in the second coming we he, he, he also the prophet okay. who actually met <coughs> prophet alayhi salam during his trip to the the heavens Okay. So uh I personally believe that Nuh alayhi salam is also uh you know the one of the time travelers. Yeah, yeah, literally. Uh and um this is a concept which we can actually talk in detail. But since the Surah Maryam does not really go in emphasis of this, so let's not go in there. But it is <laughs> literally a very very key element of uh Surah Maryam because um uh, other than the the fact that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given two bifurcations of different types of prophets in surah maryam the siddiq nabi and the, the rusul nabi mm-hmm. so this is another key which which opens a lot of doors to our uh, reconstruction of psychology of how to look at mm-hmm. these three and uh, idris alayhi salam is such a big uh, figure in uh, the bible that mm-hmm. you know books of enoch the book of enoch and the book of jain is all about idris alayhi salam okay so times. enoch is idris enoch is idris in the bible okay yeah mm-hmm. can you please explain a little bit like how he traveled and no, where we have he? a lot of hadith uh, about uh, uh, idris alayhi salam okay uh, idris alayhi salam is the per, the first person that allah taala taught uh, uh, through the pen okay so which means that he is the first person who actually uh, documented knowledge okay the whole you know uh, era of knowledge of all the human beings started with idris alayhi salam okay because adam alayhi salam and his sons were giving getting knowledge to adam alayhi salam which was given through the the time of creation yeah. of adam when the angels asked yeah of yeah. Uh, what yeah. uh, is he going to do in the and then <coughs> the, you know there is the story of how he taught us a small husn and too. that probably went on to word of mouth yeah cuz he was just uh, the what the the, the six generation of adam alayhi salam Okay. Seventh generation is Idris alayhi salam. Seventh okay. patriarch is uh, Idris alayhi salam. Okay. And by that time, the population is growing, 
and uh, Idris Islam actually sets the precedence of how to actually convey knowledge now okay. and store knowledge. Okay. And uh, he's the one who creates the first library because he's writing so much. And then he gets to find out because an angel is actually narrating all of that knowledge and teaching him and he's writing everything down. This is how Idris Islam's life is. Wow, he's uh, the least heard prophets, but he had such a significant role. Yeah, uh, yeah I just missed out on the Christian's fourth uh, prophet, Ilyas al-Islam, is also in their books up in the heavens. Okay, taken alive. Yeah, yeah. Um, they both, uh, you know, are up there. Uh, well, Christians don't believe that Isa al-Islam is alive, so otherwise yeah. they do, you know, believe in the second coming, so which of yeah. course is going to be. Because yeah. they don't believe that Isa al-Islam is going to be born again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it is going to be a second coming. Because, you know, they attribute him to a person which is godly, so you can do that. Yeah. But the, the real question is Idris al-Islam's presence. Farafana, Makan, and Alayya is the ayah, which in Surah Maryam actually says that, you know, we raised him up on a, on a destination or a place which is uh, above. above. Farafana, you know, it raised him up. Yeah. You know, a higher place. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I think that's a similar word used for Isa alayhi salam also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rafa, Rafa or something. Rafa, yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, this is something uh, you know, which is so clear in how we understand the concept of uh, this whole trajectory. And if we go into detail of Idris alayhi salam, then uh, you know we we find out that uh, there's so much about Idris alayhi salam which Muslims don't even know about. Yeah, exactly. And uh, that is something which is, in my opinion, which opens a lot of doors towards how the Jal is going to be working. And uh, uh, even if he is not going to use those sort of things, but he does have such a clear way of, uh, uh, you know, uh, making people believe that he's more than just a man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it, at the time of Idris al-Islam, uh, you know, people don't really, I don't know why Muslim psychology is not really constructed over the fact that Adam al-Islam was a thousand year old. Mm. You know, and Nuh al-Islam preached for 950 years. Yeah. This is a, this is a very, very mm. clear uh, problem we need to solve. I don't know why we just overlook it somehow. We just don't even think about it. Yeah, 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 we do, yeah. And uh, the real question to ask is if uh, Nuh al-Islam was 950 years old or just preaching time, Mm -hmm. Then how come he never had uh, more than one generation in his lifetime? Yeah, you know? but he got, got married at nine thirty. No, yeah. he didn't, right? Yeah. So he got probably he got married at thirty, even less those times. Yeah. So he, he should have had about fifty, sixty generations of uh, his own lineage. Yeah. But he only has his first lineage, which he tried to save. So this is a this is a very uh, clear indication of how. The psychology of a Muslim should be, because uh, the Christian psychology is that he did collect every male and every female. That's not humanly possible, not yeah. in this lifespan anyway, in this yeah. lifespan of 60, yeah. 70 years. So I'm not saying that he spent 950 years collecting animals. Yeah. What I'm saying is that it was a, uh, it's not as simple as, as, as we just think that those people used to live that old. If they were, then, then you better produce a lot of lineage of this man in his own life, uh, lifetime. And not just his, the people that he's trying to save. Yeah. So that's a lot of people that uh, that you know uh, that are missing from the big picture. Yeah. So that means that uh, these people were constant travelers. Idris Islam is known as a traveler, and Idris Islam is explained so many in so many ways, not just uh, in the Hadith, but uh, in the Bible, in the Ethiopian mm -hmm. Bible, and uh, we have so much text from old civilizations now that clearly talk about Enoch and his journeys to Saturn and so on and so forth. Really? Yeah. Okay. Which is... Uh, That's very surprising to me. Actually. Yeah. And not just the fact that uh, he travels, but uh, the fact that they used to mention Saturn, which has uh, a very peculiar Star of David on its North, North Pole. Star That's, of David? Yeah, it's a hexagon, but you know, hexagon is placed inside a... Yeah. A Star of David is a hexagon. Yeah. So, yeah, well, it's placed in the hexagon. It, you know. yeah. So, uh, you, you have to understand when we think the Jal, somehow, Star of David comes into play anyway. Yeah. I don't want to put that, uh, that's a far-fetched idea, for in, in, for, even for me, you know. Mm -hmm. But, uh, 
there's a lot to do with uh, these 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 things when you come down to so you mean really like in other things. texts the mention of saturn comes comes into regarding all civilizations in, uh, yeah yeah uh, literally uh uh we have wow. uh, the the mayan texts we have okay. the sumerian text we have the akkadian text we have the uh well we don't have any like in the indian text but they do mm. uh you know date as as far as five and some thousand years sumerian go back as to 11000 years and they talking about enoch means that uh, adam was way before uh, what we think he was okay adam was way more than uh, you know we 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 think is 5000 year old history of uh, yeah. man which is not if somebody was bearing some tablets wow. who were in this planet 11000 years ago yeah then there's a there's a lot more than than we know yeah and that's very strange that there's a sumerian tablets mentioning the same thing that a similar thing that we have in islam yeah yeah it's not just sumerian a lot of mesopotamian uh, mesopotamian uh, text that we have found now talk yeah. about the great flood which is of the the you know flood of noah uh and his great grandfather which is enoch and you know there's so much but i'm not this actually you know, opens a door to a lot of discussion yeah a lot more so, a lot yeah. more but we we need to understand you know why because yeah. meraj is that is in bani israil yeah he meets idris you know what i'm saying subhanallah yeah and he meets who isa alayhi salam and that just comes right after surah kaf where all the whole story of maryam and isa alayhi salam comes in and then all of a sudden wow. idris is met and this wow. is this is not a coincidence as i said i don't yeah. believe in coincidences muslim psychology yeah, should not and there's be. a hadith which uh, makes uh, puts all these surahs together yeah oh wow. yeah so it's a, okay. it's a big uh, it's a big combination of so many pieces of the puzzle we have to just put them together yeah and we can actually easily understand that uh, uh, the way to understand the jal yeah. uh, would be far easier because one that you know he's going to claim to be a prophet okay so what can you do as a prophet oh i'm a, such a super prophet i can travel through here and there Yeah. So okay, so Zulkarnain could do that, man. He was not a prophet. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is this is yeah. a where Surah Kaf is actually helping you get that psychology. <clears throat> we'll go in detail in Surah Kaf, and then if he says uh, I can uh, produce this and that, and all of a sudden his followers are going to be getting a lot of prosperity, Surah Kaf talks about that. That you know, yeah. Uh, in the last ten ayahs, uh, Surah Kaf is uh, very clear about uh, the people who are disbelievers. Yeah. Who are all about this world? Yeah. Uh, are getting to believe that they're on the right path because they're getting so much stuff from this world. Yeah. This is an indication of uh, of, of you know what Surah Kaf is actually pointing towards. Yeah. So uh, this this is so much uh, in in these three surahs that we we better understand. And then the concept of Siddiq Nabi and uh, uh, Nabi Rusul, which is two different categories of the prophets that come in. and ironically the siddiq nabis are the uh you know those prophets which allah taala has shown his big signs to okay you know what i'm saying so big signs in, in this case of miraj allah taala says i've travel yeah. make him to a journey to make uh, him uh, see those big signs not all the yeah. signs major signs yeah for the creations which are the big hell and hell and heaven and you know uh the siddatul muntaha and the seven heavens and different different places in uh, in maharaj and when i say surah bani israil i take into account directly the hadith of maharaj as well mm-hmm. because that is not in the surah surah of bani israil there's a different hadith we have to see when allah yeah. is talking about the maharaj hadith explains what happens in the maharaj yeah so they both come into the same uh, uh, play then uh, you know those uh, prophets which were mentioned in surah maryam mm-hmm. uh, you know ironically uh, siddiq turns out to be the very uh word of you know uh the believer uh mm-hmm. of these signs in surah kaf's last ayah is about uh them not believing in my signs and my rusul this is the, i think the fourth last ayah of surah kaf of how these 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 disbelievers did not believe in my signs you know what yeah, uh, yeah. when allah taala says signs and rusul Yeah. So that means all of those magnificent events which are not explained to science yeah. and uh, those are only explained to science because miraj is a sign yeah. of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah. of how yeah. he took his prophet to 
yeah. uh, the whole journey in just a matter of a few uh, instances. So these are these are the the, the 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 you know completion of the big story of these three suras. This triad is speaking to us so loud. Hmm. It is showing us so many things. Hmm. And uh, when we hear the hadith of the first ten ayah or uh, the hadith of the last ten ayah, uh, we better understand that we cannot understand the first ten ayahs or last ten ayahs unless we know what Surah Kaaf is all about. Yeah, actually this was a question in my mind that we've been only like in the Sahih hadith we find out that it's the, the first ten ayahs or the last and the last ten ayahs that a believer has to use uh, as uh, a the shield most against the The authentic hadith is the first ten ayahs. First and the first mm. ayah is uh, the ninth and tenth ayah is about the Ashab Kaf. Yeah. Whereas everything about like you talked about Zulkarnain and the time travel uh, is mentioned after the ten ayahs. No, time travel is in the first ten ayahs. Okay. Ashab Kaf is the eighth, uh, ninth, and tenth ayah. Time travel is of Ashab Kaf. That's where it starts from. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, so basically, we have to go through all of this. Yeah. To then uh, have the essence of those ten ayahs. Yeah, not just the essence, but the use. Yeah. The use of ten, these ten ayahs. Yeah. We'll explain in Surah Kaf when we're going to open that uh, of why uh, yeah. going to the mountains was prescribed when you're told to flee in the tent of times. Yeah. And how mountains have turned out to be an amazing. It's not a coincidence. There are no coincidences. <clears throat> so all the portals which were used by angels to come to the prophets were in mountains. Okay. Uh, all the time, in portals which in prophets will open in the time of Yajuj Majuj yeah. are going to be in the mountains. Uh, yeah. You know, there's so much about this, the Jal period that we better understand from, uh, you know, when a hadith is trying to save us. Uh, the, those hadith save us you know, in a lot of ways, physically, of course, that, you know, flee and then go to the mountains, be self-sufficient at that time, uh, you know, uh, then how the Jal is going to be working around and he's going to be going to every single place. He's not going to leave any stone unturned. So how are these people going to be saved in the mountains? Yeah. You know, so... Uh, wow. This That's is a very important question. Yeah, this is something yeah. which is... Uh, we better if you'll have access to everything everything yeah yeah. Uh, yeah yeah wow maybe surah Kaaf will open those old portals mm. only only in the mountains because yeah. uh, a Kaaf is also in a mountain this cave was also in a mountain yeah yeah and uh, they f did flee in the from the there the jar at the time that, that the pressure was and that gave us similarity yeah and it's not a coincidental yeah. similarity there are no yeah. coincidences a muslim belief is free of coincidences. Uh, we believe in a God who has seen everything and sees everything from uh, from the beginning till the end of whatever, yeah. even way past heaven yeah. and anything which was way before uh, you know the universe. Yeah. So when when we believe in that kind of Lord, which we do, then there cannot be any coincidence. If a person uh, has seen a movie and just a human <coughs> being. And if he gives me advice about what's going to happen in the movie, it's not a coincidental advice. <laughs> or if he tries wow. to do something wow. uh, which is going to, you know, affect yeah. my life of that movie, within the movie, that's not a coincidental event. Because yeah. I'm just talking about just the awareness yeah. attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yeah. not just the other attributes. Yeah. Just the very fact that he's aware makes all of this universe yeah. free of any coincidences. Yeah. Just the very fact that he's alim. So everything that's mentioned in the Quran and everything, Hadith is everything. The way I'm sitting right now in front of you, the time that we're doing this, yeah. there are no coincidences. I'm talking about the tiny little spot inside the depth of the ocean moving. That's not a coincidental thing. This is how, how, how perfect this whole machine is. And we have to understand how, how to look at it. And uh, if we start believing in anomalies and coincidences, then I'm so sorry, this is, this is not going to be a religious debate. Or discussion yeah. because then well actually thank you so much for explaining it this way because all this time like when we go through the Quran there's so many stories so many things that we have to kind of like, unfortunately force our brains to try to take something out of them you know and most of the times we just feel that they are just the moral lessons or things like these you know 
Yeah. But now here you casually placed. Yeah, exactly. Or exactly. haphazardly. Yeah. yeah. Or done by man. Yeah. You know? Uh this is how important our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is because he actually arranged all of those ayahs himself. Yeah. In his own life he made sure that every ayah sequencing and every placement of every alphabet yeah. is uh carefully done in his own supervision. Yeah. So uh and even if even if he didn't whoever did that it was god's will because yeah, this is yeah, this, this yeah. is something so what i'm saying is uh if we believe that there are no coincidences which we do not even at the smallest level then there can never be any coincidence at the quran level yeah and so so the bani israil being in you know in that place Before where kaaf, right there, yeah maryam being after the kaaf this is not a coincidence at any level and then all of a sudden surah kaaf which has apparently absolutely no visible Yeah. Uh, yes. you know, arsenal against the jal yeah. becomes our only arsenal against yeah. the jal. Yeah. Then we better understand this hadith of, you know, making the surah kaf as a triad and uh, using bani israil yeah. and surah maryam as a combo for for uh, uh, surah al kahf. Okay. And then then when we going to go into surah kaf, I will will bring and invoke the chapter of idris uh in the the siddiq nabi. Um so Uh, understand you know Abu Bakr Siddiq became Siddiq because he actually believed in this this signs of travel and trajectories yeah so this is not a so coincidence that you know Siddiq Nabi is mentioned in the yeah so Maryam the same is word is this in, word you using Siddiq Nabi is it mentioned in the Quran yeah yeah the two nab, no, two types, types of, of yeah and beyond it Allah Taala is mm. classifying these two subhanallah types. okay Nabi Siddiq Nabi Rusul So uh, there are different scholars who talk about different things, but if you look at all of these surahs in combination, you'll find out that uh, first time anybody got to be using this word Siddiq was in the Bani Israel surah, and wow. then uh, all of a sudden it just comes up popping up in the surah Maryam. Yeah, and probably then, this has been the one of the most significant meanings of the Siddiq Nabi. Well, yeah, as far as yeah, yeah, as far as we are concerned, Siddiq is, uh, you know, the. ultimate bearer of the truth okay. and how can you be an ultimate bearer of the truth if you haven't seen behind the camera all of yeah. those uh names that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did mention uh were looking at things behind the camera yeah and, you know Musa went with Khizr and you know saw what was going on yeah. and Musa did a lot more than that actually yeah uh, Ibrahim did that uh, Idris did that uh, Isa did that uh, uh Nabi Allah sallam himself did that uh so on and you'll find out that yeah. when Allah Taala mentions uh, surah nabi rusul you'll find out that those were amazingly and not coincidentally but amazingly those prophets which do not have any recollection of these sort of yeah events yeah, yeah. so those are totally different types of prophets uh i'm not ranking them of course there's no point there's no psychological way of us ranking them different uh, different uh, in a different way but we can see the use of this word in a very clear way that you know this is something which we have to be in other words if i have to give one liner of why surah maryam is so important siddiq are those people will be saved from the jal because they will be believing in a totally different way of looking at uh, all this stuff and it will be meaningless of what the jal is doing subhanallah and uh, <coughs> the prophecies of those people yeah. who are go- the people of heaven in the times of the jal Yeah. Are the, the people who are literally doing what Abu Bakr Siddiq was doing to the Arabs said, "Yeah, I believe that this is the real truth." Subhanallah. Those people, for example, that man who is, will be chopped by the exactly. The chainsaw. Exactly. I was about to mention that. Yeah. He is the Siddiq. Yeah. He is claiming over and over that I am Iman. I testify. I testify that you are a, yeah. a liar, and my prophet was yeah. the uh, 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 was true about. Uh, Even after he receives life. Yeah, so he knows time, that this yeah. is the only attri- that this is the attribute that's only uh, like Allah holds this attribute. He should be become a believer in the jal, yeah. but instead he rejects and denies that yeah. very attribute and says, "Now I have stronger faith that you are the jal." Because he says something which Abu Bakr Siddiq said. Yeah. He said, "Because my prophet, my prophet Al Islam already told us yeah. that this is going to happen and I did not so know it was going to be me." Subhanallah. Yeah. So he literally verbatim uses the same psychology, the sequence and the stress of words which Abu Bakr Siddiq said. So I believe in my 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 prophet has said. Subhanallah. Yeah, so this is something which is not a coincidence at any level. 
So Siddiqs are going to be saved in the times of the Chal, just like Siddiqs were created in the uh, the time when these Sulas were, you know, being revealed. Thank you so much, Sahil. May Allah make us among the Siddiq or the believers Amen. that will be saved from the fitna of the Jal. Inshallah, I'll be seeing you again in our next coming episodes Inshallah. where we're going to start Surah